Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the 15th through the 21st. Now this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is, uh, reading is not for every single person. I know a lot of people don't understand that. They watch a reading and they try to make it fit, and they're like, no, 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 no. Well, then it's not for you. You know? It's not going to resonate with every single person. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Is this for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? If, it, if this one doesn't resonate with you, you can go check out one of your others, you know, the Rising or the Venus or the Moon, you know, and see if that one does. A lot of times I find that my Rising sign resonates above the most or my Venus for love, so you might want to watch that one. Um, anyway... This is for Sagittarius. Ooh, wake up call. Ace of Swords, write down the situation, the truth. Okay, this is the sword of truth, the raw truth. So, hmm, communication. You may be receiving a message, a truthful message, an honest message. Um, <laughs> Maybe, maybe you're receiving some sort of truth about a completion and end, something that has been really um, painful, perhaps. I mean, the Ten of Swords, this is betrayal. This is like a death of something, the end of something, an end of, of conflict. You may be receiving a message about um, a completion in your life, something is ending. Um, the challenge is standing up again, you know. Something may be coming to an end, and you got you got to pick yourself back up. You know. We're gonna go back around again and after, and get clarifiers for. All. There's a lot of um, power struggles here, conflict. You could be dealing with an individual who doesn't want you to succeed. We've had, we've been talking about this for a while. This is a lose lose situation. You may be severing ties, or they may somebody may be severing ties. I see that we have a lot of conflict here. You may be dealing with a person that is petty, okay, and you need to protect yourself. Your guard is probably up, and it has been up, hasn't it, with this Seven of Wands. It's like you may be in defense mode. You could be dealing with somebody that has misjudged you, and they're overly critical of you, and they just want to fight with you. So, I mean, I can't, I'm so sick of this. I think that what's going on here is that, you know, you're doing everything in your power to keep things balanced and harmonious. I think you've been trying to remain patient and calm, and I think you're doing a good job because I think that balance and harmony is going to be restored in your life. It is. Um, something is coming to an end. The truth is coming out. So if... You've been dealing with a very troublesome individual that has been trying to bring you down. I think the truth is going to be revealed, okay? And I think that you're going to get what you deserve out of the situation. Balance and harmony and peace and serenity is going to come back to your life, hopefully this week. You know, I know that I can see that you've had to be defend yourself and you've, your guard has been up and you've been dealing with a drama. I think you've been dealing with a lot of drama in your life, and I think it's about to come to an end. I do, I do, because this is bringing balance and harmony back to your life. You know, and this is, you know, this is a blessing. You know, whatever has happened here has made you into a better person. It's made you stronger. It's made you wiser. It's helped you to evolve. It's brought changes about in, in regards to who you are. I feel as though, you know, I can see that you've really had to have your guard up and you've have probably been kept right on your toes. Um, but I feel as though you are making a decision. Um, I think a decision is absolutely being made to drop this. Some, some sort of heavy weight is being dropped. Okay, it's being let go. I think that whatever is happening happened for a reason because now your your responsibilities or your burdens are, are starting to fade away. Okay, this is breaking free from that, letting it go. So whatever has been weighing you down and causing all this drama in your life, I think it's about to be released. Okay, it's, it's about to be, you know, taken off of your back. So um, whatever it is. 
you know, there's somebody may have been in a loveless situation where there was no emotional support. There was no emotional contentment, you know, and now it's like somebody has made a decision to walk away. Whether you've walked away or they've walked away, somebody has made a decision to walk away because balance and harmony and peace and serenity is where it's at. So I feel like the time is now for a big, big change in your life. And I see a spiritual renewal here and a feeling of peace peace coming back to your life because something very troublesome is over with it's reached its end it's it's done i think that some sort of truth is coming out somebody is getting a wake-up call and they're heading in a new direction um that five of swords is troublesome it is troublesome uh i think there's been a lot of petty conflict you've been dealing with a with a person that <laughs> wants to win at all costs and they don't care if they hurt you well I think the truth is going to come out about this person maybe they're going to get caught doing something or something's going to happen um, we're going to go back around here and see what we got we're not going to check we're not going to clarify this one we know the challenge is is taking back your power right the challenge is starting over again you know that's the challenge letting it end the challenge is walking away for good you know that's the challenge um, you know, not letting yourself be defeated by this jerk, whoever you're dealing with. Um, yeah, I think that you guys are, uh, have been probably trying to avoid this, this break. You've been trying to avoid this, this upheaval, right? You've been trying to, you know, let me just get the rest of these cards real quick. Wow. I feel like you guys have been really... Well, look at that. Ace of Swords to the Two of Swords. This is a stressful, painful decision to cut somebody out of your life. That's what's going on here. You guys are making a painful, stressful decision to... Either you're communicating the truth, you're telling the truth, or, or something like that, or you've avoided the truth for long enough, and now you see the truth, you've waken up from the truth, it's like, I can't ignore the truth anymore, it's like, the truth is, this hurts, whatever it is, you've been betrayed by another person, that's what it looks like to me. And the challenge is, is stepping out of it, you know, seeing it as it is, accepting it for what it is, and deciding to, to you know, go down that new path, accepting what it is for real, okay? You're taking back control of your life. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn, um, but whatever you're dealing with, it was unhealthy. You were dealing with an unhealthy situation that was manipulating you. <laughs> you were dealing with a manipulating situation where, you know, you, somebody may have been trying to sabotage your success, which is a sucky individual. But I think that you're about to take back your power. That's what we got here. You are, you are taking back your power, Sagittarius. It's being given right back to you. It's probably with the with the new the transitions the planetary aspects that are working with you anyway you are you're restoring you're restoring power you're taking back your power you're being given the power back at this time to stand up and, and start over take back control of your life um, there's been a lack of wish fulfillment there's been a lack of abundance I think that you may have been overwhelmed. You may have tried too hard to please another person. And so, therefore, they took advantage of you. Um, I do think that you've been taken advantage of. I do. I think that you've probably, you're probably not happy that um, you couldn't fix this situation. I feel as though um, you probably have a better opportunity waiting for you. And I think that you, you're, you're headed towards balance and harmony. You absolutely are. There's no joke. There's no joke. What what the trouble sometime that you have been through is is just about over. That's what I see. I see that you know you have another opportunity for a new contract where there's equal give and take. Where you know you're not doing all the work. It's not one sided. It's it's mutual. I feel like um, it's unexpected. You're going to receive. You are going to receive an unexpected opportunity. It's something probably that you've been wishing for that you thought was never going to come. I think I think it's I think it's coming. Okay, I think it's coming. There's going to be an unexpected. You may you may even get a gift here. 
I'm not sure. You could you could get an increase in money. I feel as though um, you're going to be quite surprised with, with whatever it is you're, that you're getting. You're, it may uh, maybe it will even make you feel. I don't know where this is coming from, but it's almost like makes you want to cry. I that's what it makes you want to cry because it's you're getting something that you probably didn't deserve, think that you were going to get. Um, you probably thought it was never going to come. That's what I see. I think that um, you've been hurting over a situation. There's definitely been some heartache here. You may feel like you're at a loss. You may feel at a loss because this is whatever is being given to you. This is heals. This is love heals. It's going to help you to heal from a broken heart. So, uh, you know, I I really feel like balance and harmony is going to be restored in your life, and you're headed in a better direction. I think that it's like this this Jupiter. What is it? Jupiter retrograde or something like that is helping you. Um, I think I'm not an astrologer. I don't know much about that. Um, here in the past, I think that you've you've been there's been a lack of abundance. There's been a lot of petty arguments. There's been a lot of drama in your life. It's like it's like you've been um, pulled down. Perhaps I feel like somebody has maybe maybe made you feel like you're not good enough. You know, they may have. Maybe you've even been stolen from. I don't know. I feel like in the past, you're probably sick of being alone for one thing. You probably don't want to be alone anymore. I see loneliness here. I feel as though um, there may, be, may have been financial loss in the past, and that's why your guard is up. You know, you've been trying hard to recover from a financial uh, situation. You've been working really hard to do it, and then you got somebody trying to bring you down, bring you down, bring you down, bring you down. That's a true test, isn't it? I think that you have absolutely been tested by the divine, by the universe, your strength, your ability to evolve and persevere through a difficult, difficult, difficult time. I think that there's definitely been some financial loss or a theft, perhaps, say. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't even see that theft, but I keep hearing it. So, you know, it's like somebody's been trying. Maybe they've been trying to steal your integrity. You know, they've been trying to just break. They're jealous of you. You know? Oh, God. Anyway, somebody's been trying to bring you down. I think you've had to really work hard to keep your head above water because of their stupidity. So, I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. In the future, I mean, we have this Eight of Swords. This is stuck. But this is evolving. This is changing. Renewal. There's a purpose why you've been stuck. Because you have been being enlightened. You've been learning things. You have been. You have been. Mm, there could be you could be dealing with a bitter individual somebody who's angry and miserable you know how i think we had this in your last reading misery loves company could be dealing with a libra gemini aquarius somebody and this could be a man or a woman because this is a very masculine energy i just i really feel like you're dealing with an individual who is very miserable with who they are and they're 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 stuck they're they're just a miserable individual and they're stealing your it's like a psychic vampire kind of situation oh yeah they're trying to bring you down they're trying to steal your vibe energy they, do, they don't want your vibration to be higher than yours higher than theirs you are definitely dealing with a individual who doesn't want you to to do better than them okay i'm sorry that is what this is i think that you have somebody that and i think it's this other person I think that they're trying to steal your energy. They don't want you. They don't want you to evolve. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to get what you deserve for some reason because they're miserable. You're dealing with a miserable individual who is disappointed with their own life. And you know how people do that. They want to bring their misery onto you, and they've stolen your energy. I think for a while you let them. But I think that's over now. I think you're taking back control. You're evolving. You're changing. You're not that same person anymore. You know what they did? They they gave you more power. They empowered you. They did empower you. They empowered you to rise above who they are. So <laughs> that's interesting. I feel um, down here. 
This is letting it go, breaking free, dropping it. This is too heavy for me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't care. I don't care if we loved each other at one time. I don't care if I still love you. This is too heavy for me to carry. I can't. No. No, it's like this person is, they may be saying that, you know, or pretending that they love you. And you're just like, I don't even want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. I feel as though you may have been clinging to this because you have memories of this person or you have children with this person, but it's way too heavy. And I think I see you dropping it, breaking free from it. Just like, you know, I'm out of here. I can't, I can't hold on to this anymore. There's no love here. There's no love here. And I think that you're looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. So the approach is to drop it. You're being called to drop this, to let it go, to don't carry it anymore. Don't carry this person's weight anymore. Don't carry this person anymore. Don't carry this burden anymore. Don't carry this responsibility anymore. Okay? There's no, there's no emotional growth there. There's no relationship growth there. It's time to let it go. Externally, you're dealing with a person that is smothering. We, you're dealing with a person that doesn't know your value. They don't see your worth. You know, it's like they don't. It's like they don't. They don't even know what love is. They don't. I think you're dealing with a person that doesn't know how to love. And I think that you know you've been probably you're dealing with a person with hidden agendas, and I think that you've known for quite some time. But you, you know, I think that you've given it all that you can give it, and I think that now your intuition is saying, you know, it's time to come out of hiding. It's time to express that you know this is too much for you. I think that you've been keeping it to yourself, and you know that you know this person has stolen your energy. This person that you are dealing with has caused you to go through a repression because you know there's no emotional fulfillment there. I feel like you're dealing with an individual who is very, very selfish, honestly. I think you're dealing with a selfish individual. Um, up here in your fears and hopes, you making a decision. You make a decision to focus on another opportunity so I feel like you're very conflicted look at these fives five five you're conflicted you're very conflicted with making the decision you know making the decision to um, focus on something else choose another option I think that you've been really struggling I think that you have I think that you've you've you have a lot of competition and you know it and I feel like you're you may be afraid you may be afraid of you know making the wrong decision you know, I think that you are I think that you are afraid of making the wrong decision I think that you're afraid of getting yourself into new Maybe you're afraid of getting yourself into any new conflicts, right? Any new competitions. There's a lot of tension. I think that you are very tense. I think I think that you're wanting to come out of this darkness, right? You're wanting to come out of this, you're, and you're choosing to. I think that you are going to choose to, but I think you, that you're a little fearful of it. Yeah, there's anxiety. There is anxiety. You're definitely losing sleep over this situation. Because you're afraid you're going to make the wrong decision. I think you're going to be absolutely fine. I really do. I feel like um, where you're at, there's no victory in success. There's no progress being made. you got to choose another option. You do. You have a better opportunity waiting for you. And I think that you realize that, but you're scared. You are scared. You're dealing with an individual who doesn't have good intentions, somebody that is probably using emotional, emotional blackmail as a tactic against you. It's like they don't really have emotional love for you, and I think that it breaks your heart. I think that's where the heartbreak comes from, and it's time for you to make a cut. It's time for you to you know, speak your truth. That's why that Ace of Swords. It's time for you to protect yourself, defend yourself. I think that, you know... <laughs> you may be afraid you may be afraid to bite off more than you can chew but I think that you're going to be absolutely fine I really do I 
I think you're really afraid of conflict. You don't. You're. I think that you're afraid that if you follow your heart and you and you make a different choice, that there's going to bring too much conflict into your life. Well, I'm telling you right now, that you are going to find peace and harmony and relief, relief by following your heart. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back your power. I feel like, you know, you guys are. Let's do this one first. I feel like you guys are struggling with this ending, struggling with letting go because, you know, it's scary. It's scary when you've lived with a person or you've been with a certain job or you've been with these cer this certain partnership or whatever for so long. It's scary to step into the unknown. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's time. It's time. This person has stolen your energy or this situation has stolen your energy long enough it's time for your renewal it's time for you to heal it's time for you to get back into your element again it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to get what you deserve it's time for balance and harmony in your life I think you have a much 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 better option here that is better suited for you and I think that you probably see that We have this guy right here who's so jealous. They're jealous of your kindness. They're jealous of your heart. I'm telling you what, somebody is jealous as hell, as hell of you. Oh my goodness. You're definitely dealing with, I think for a lot of you, you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that is very belittling. He's a bit, this person is a belittler. This person is critical, very critical, mean. Um, this person has wasted a lot of your time. I think there's dashed expectations. I think that they have hindered your, your happiness for a long time. They've stolen your joy. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I see. It's like they don't, oh my God. And I think that, you know, you have a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity here, you know, to follow your heart and go in a new direction, follow your dreams. I, this, you know, the Page of Cups is a dreamer. And I think that, you know, you're really emotional with this. This person has made you really emotional. I feel as though... You have a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity for love. And that means that you're going to have to turn your back on this person who has hurt you. You may have a new opportunity. It could be an, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe you've been wasting your time with a jerk and you got this new love waiting for you. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it's the Libra, Gemini, or it could be both, okay, okay? I mean, we have we could have somebody new here, a new opportunity for love, but you still have an air sign or anybody that is, you know, not wanting you to be happy. So I really feel like presently you have a new opportunity that's going to be presented to you to turn your back on this jerk. And, you know, but the thing is, is you're going to have to make a decision and you're going to have to stick to it. I think some sort of secret is going to be revealed. The truth is going to come out and it's going to change your life. Something's been going on. Something's been hidden. Nobody's been talking. Whatever. There's been a lot of strife here. There has with all these fives. You have like three fives. Five, five, five. There's been a lot of strife. And now it's time to, you know, accept the reality of whatever this strife is and and follow your heart and you know it's time for you to go back to your innocence and heal from this situation right it's time for you to be happy again so i feel like you've had your your expectations dashed dashed by a person that is not very nice at all you're dealing with a person that um had hidden agendas that really lied to you and I think the truth is about to be revealed or there's going to be some sort of realization that you know it's time for me to go in a new direction choose another option so I feel like this week 
This is the outcome. You guys are going to make a decision to walk away and let an opportunity go that isn't real. It's not practical. It's not stable. And it's not secure. I see you guys moving on from an unstable, insecure, not practical, not solid opportunity. That's what I see. I see you moving on because you deserve peace. You deserve harmony. You know, it's time. The time is now. All of this happened for a reason. It helped you to become the person you are today. It's time. It's your time. I think that you've tried to compromise with this person time and time or situation, partnership, time and time again. Now you know there's a better opportunity. There is. There's an unexpected choice here in love, perhaps, to follow your heart. There is an unexpected choice to follow your heart here. No doubt. And as soon as you do that, you're going to find like instant relief. I'm not kidding. And you're going to get something out of it. You are. I think that you're going to receive something out of this, whatever it is. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And I think that's why you have probably stayed. Codependency. I don't want to be alone. That, and this is the truth, too. You may have stayed because you're, maybe you were afraid that to be alone. Or to go on your own. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, I really feel like there's somebody new here with the Page of Cups and the Lover's Card. There's a no, there is a new opportunity here. Maybe you just, you know, you take a little trip and you have a little relaxed time with somebody and heal. I see you guys making a conscious change to break free from something that has been weighing you down for a long, long, long time. I see you guys literally like breaking free, like walking away, turning your back. It's my time. And feeling instant relief after doing so. That is what I have, Sagittarius. Good luck.